wanted her shoes. God, Josie, you should have given them the stupid shoes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Hello, I'm Carrie Underwood, and my cause is my Cats Foundation. Um, I started it a few years ago uh, with the idea of just helping my town, where I'm from, Shakota, um, Oklahoma. And uh, I really just wanted to help them out in any way I could. So we created this foundation. Um, I've been able to donate musical instruments, um, uniforms for the band, risers for the chorus, uh, a new piano for the chorus class, um, new computer labs, multiple labs, um, and pretty much just we asked them to make this big old wish list and we just fulfilled the wish list, uh, which was really exciting. Built a playground, built an animal shelter, um, and we're just getting started. So uh, if you want to check out more information on the Cats Foundation, um, it's www.thecatsfoundation.com. Hi, my name is Carrie Underwood, and something that is very important to me and my life and who I am as a person is my hometown. So I started the Cats Foundation uh, not too long ago. It stands for Shakota Animal Town and School Foundation. And basically, I want to better my community. They've been so great to me and uh, I feel like it's really time to give back. So we started out with ACM Lifting Lives by donating over $100,000 worth of musical equipment to my high school, and people were crying. It was crazy. They were so excited, and they really put that stuff to good use, and you know, I'm, I'm very excited to do more in my community. Um, my next project is building an animal shelter in my hometown, and um, I, I think it's gonna do a lot of good, and uh, I can't wait to see what we do in the future. I'm very proud to start this foundation. I said no! 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 his family. Mr. Lee, or Mr. Tom, as friends called him, lived with his wife Sherry and their 13 children in Shoal Creek, Alabama. On April 27th, Tom saw a tornado approaching the family home. With only seconds to react, he gathered his wife and kids and put them in the lower level of the house. As the swirling debris tore the home apart, Tom used his body to brace the door and ultimately shield his family. In the end, he used the only thing he had to save his wife and children, his body. They survived, but Tom Lee died that day. A posting on a family friend's website conveyed his passing this way. So long, Mr. Tom, for now. Shoes. 
God, Josie, you should have given them the stupid shoes. Somebody call 911. Did he pick a whole bunch of them?